Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com and Google has finally announced what Android M is going to be called. It's going to be Android 6.0 Marshmallow. They unveiled the statue and everything today. It's a completely official. They've also released uh, Dev Preview 3 images for the Nexus 6, the Nexus 5, the Nexus 9, and the Nexus Player. I have the developer preview installed on both my Nexus 9 and my Nexus 5. Gonna, guys, gonna show you guys some of the changes. There's even a brand new boot animation, so be sure to check that out. Let's go ahead and look at it. Alright, right away you will see a brand new boot animation, so let's check it out. You'll see a lot of little animations, a lot going on with it. It's really neat overall. Lots of colors. And they all just morph into Android. So very smooth, very clean. I really like it. Let me know what you guys think about the new boot animation. All right, very quickly, because I know you guys are going to ask. Let's go into settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and you'll see Android version. It is now 6.0 going into the Easter egg, and it's the exact same. No, there's no update to the Easter egg. Press and hold on it, and you'll still get a little guy shaking his arm. I guess I can't get it. I'll quickly tap and press and all. There it goes. So you'll see it goes away. No flap, uh, Android Flappy Bird, anything like that. you also notice there's some new wallpapers in this build. So I figured I'd pull out the Nexus 9 to show them off since it is a larger display. So here we go. Wallpapers. Uh, here's a new one. This guy. I will post a download link to every single one of these wallpapers in the description of videos. So if you want to download them and put them on your device now, you can. And let's see, we got two more. This guy and this guy. I really like this one. This one's really neat. So I'm actually just going to set this wallpaper right now. And there you have it. Now, a lot of people were asking and wondering, did they get rid of the system UI tuner that was in the previous two builds that I have reviews on? So if you want to check those out, I'll link to them in the description. And no, they did not get rid of it. They just kind of moved it and changed how you access it. So now I want you to press and hold on the settings button. And you'll notice it starts spinning really fast. When you start holding it, you can barely see that in the background. And once it spins fast, let go, and you'll see, congrats, it has been added to the settings. Now scroll all the way down to the bottom, and System UI Tuner is there. Now, they really didn't add any settings, anything specific. They're all still the same from the Dev Preview 2. So, like I said, check out that review if you want to see what they are. Also, you'll notice that there's a little wrench right next to the settings if you have enabled the system UI tuner. Now when it comes to the launcher, it's essentially the same. They still, You still have the vertical scrolling on both of the devices and you have suggested apps which you can change. Um, and of course on the Nexus 9, it does rotate both ways depending on the orientation of the device. However, on the Nexus 5, they actually got rid of the specific setting to change um, to horizontal orientation. So it does not rotate anymore, which is a little unfortunate because I actually kind of liked having that option on the Nexus 5 and mobile devices. Obviously, you need it on a tablet. Now, unfortunately, now on tap isn't available yet. However, they've added a new animation when you press and hold the home button. So there it is. You'll see cards aren't available yet. You can press this and go to Google now. And then here it is on the Nexus 5. It's the same animation, just obviously just a little bit different on a smaller screen. And like I said, you could just go to Google now right away. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me about multi-window mode. And yes, it's still on the Nexus 9 tablet through various settings. However, it honestly is the exact same as it was on the previous builds. Uh, if I select a layout, it still loads up apps. You can't configure them at all. I tried playing around with it, pressing and holding, and really it doesn't work. I mean, they work just about the exact same as they did before on previous builds. Now, a couple things that I noticed in the developer options. Let's go ahead and go into settings and scroll down. You'll see developer options. Uh, when you move down all the way to the bottom, you'll see inactive apps. And I believe that has something to do with those. I honestly don't know exactly what it is. You'll see something that says active. If you touch to toggle it, um, it will actually say inactive after you toggle it. And then if you go into the app and you come back to inactive apps, it'll say active again. So my guess is if an app is sitting there idly for a while, it'll start saying inactive because you're not using it. And it's not, uh, I guess, waking up and using your device. You also notice select USB configuration. I don't remember that being on previous builds. It might have been, but either way, you'll see you have different options, including audio source, USB, Ethernet, uh, included with Android Marshmallow. Ashu90 on Reddit also asked me to check it for stage fright for those of you that want to run it as a daily driver, and we'll see if 
and it's not vulnerable. So if you're wondering about that. But overall, that's it. Android 6.0 Marshmallow Developer Preview 3. More to come soon, so click that subscribe button. If I missed anything or there's anything important, I'll tweet about it, or I will just make another video showing off that cool new feature or something like that. So stay tuned. Like I said, be sure to subscribe. It feels very fluid. I'm very excited for an official build, obviously. Hopefully coming in October for those of you that are going to be asking me about it. So that's it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. All links in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it.